Mondays and I'm just going to run you through the basic changes that you will be able to do yourself without a developer needing to be involved on your website. So when you come to WordPress, you will log in with the details provided and you will see some kind of dashboard. Yours might look different to mine, but this is basically the layout. So you'll have all different various bits here, depending on what's built on your site, whether you've got a shop, whether you've got a blog, I've got my podcast. Um, but the important bit is this bit down the left-hand side. So this is where the magic happens. So there's a few things that you can do yourself. You'll be able to edit text, you will be able to add a blog or you'll be able to add some kind of event depending on what you've got set up or you'll be able to add something like a testimonial and the process is kind of the same depending on what you're doing you find what you need on the left hand side and then we work through the steps so as a bit of an example i am going to change something on my home page so go to pages on the left hand side and then you scroll down to find the page that you want to edit your front page is usually marked as your front page so i'll find the page i want to edit i click edit leave it to download and if you've worked with love mondays on your pay on your website we generally use wp bakery page builder it's the most intuitive, you can do pretty much anything with it, really simple to use. And what I like about it is the back end here mimics the front end here. So here's the front end of my website. As you can see, I've got a slider here. I have got um, logos which move. And then this is the first section of text. So say I wanted to change something in the first section of text, I would go right slider, testimonials, Here's the first section of text. So you can see here, five-step method, five-step method. So I would hover over this, this green block. Don't press this because it will duplicate it. Don't press that because it will delete it. <laughs> so you need to click to edit it. So when you've clicked to edit, edit it, you will see the text comes up in here. You can obviously type in what you need to type and click save changes. I would suggest keeping the word count pretty much the same because what you will find is if you put war and peace in here, one, people won't read it, but two, it will knock off the design of the page and three, it will not look good on mobile. So the way that your site has been built means that it has been built around approximately this word count in terms of the design. So try and keep it pretty much to as you've got it now we don't need war and peace people just won't be able to digest it um, and you will need a developer to get involved if you do it a lot shorter or a lot longer as it might knock off the design so when you've put in whatever text you need you click here to save the changes so that saves it to the back end of the website this isn't saved live on the live site so nothing has changed on the front end of the site I would encourage you to then go to preview, which is on the top right. And this will show you your home page as it is with the changes. This isn't live. This is just so that you can check, like I said, that none of the design's been knocked off, that you haven't put too much text in, that it, it kind of looks okay. So when you're happy that the preview is as you want it, you come back to the back end and you click update. As soon as you click update, this saves your changes live to the website. So once you've done that, there's really no going back. <laughs> if you host your website with Love Mondays or James, um, who I always send my clients through to, he does save backups of your website and it is from midnight last night so if you do do anything wrong we can roll it back to midnight the only thing is if you have made some changes um you might lose those if we do have to roll it back but don't worry you know if you've done anything terrible we can at least get back yesterday's version so that's how to change your page that's pretty much the same for all pages um so go to the home page find where you want it to edit it and then find it again on the back end. Blogs, they are all dealt with under posts. So you will be able to see, when you click into posts on the left hand side, you will be able to see all of the blogs that we've got here. How blogs are segmented are through something called categories. So you can see here, <clears throat> I've got a couple of categories. I've got one which is a blog, which would go directly to my blog page. I've also got one which is a category of podcasts. So if I go into here, I'll show you how it's set up. I would write all of my text. I would write all of my, we'll do it on 
WP Bakery so you can see the similar similarities. Um, so I would fill in all of my details. This is the main text. This is the title. And this is the URL as you would see it in the top. So www blah, blah, blah. That's what your URL would be. So what you will need to do here is set a featured image. So that would be the image that pulls through. And then you go up to your categories. So if you want this to post just to the blog, you would click blog. If you want it, if it is a podcast, I would obviously click both categories because I want it to post to my blog and I also want to post it to my um, podcasts. Once you're happy with all of that, again, you can preview the changes or you can update it. Um, and I will show you what it will look like on the front end. And then there's your featured image, there's your text, and there you go. Um, so that is how you would do a blog. Testimonials are again exactly the same. They are on the left hand side. You would click into testimonials and you would then be able to see all of them there. You can edit whichever ones you want to edit. You can add new ones, but again, make sure you pull them through to the correct category. So I've got categories that come through on my home page. Um, so if I wanted it to come through onto my home page, I would create a new one, fill in all of the details, and then tick on the right hand side, home main, to make sure that it goes onto my category where I want it to go, onto the page where I want it to go. Um, a few clients have things like this, which are events, which also are used in a posts page. So they have two categories. One is, so rather than using it as a blog, they're using it as a um, paginated event page. So they have two categories, which is an upcoming masterclass or a previous masterclass. So upcoming masterclasses would come here and they would go into day order and then, oh, sorry, previous masterclasses would go here in day order and then new upcoming masterclasses would go here. So always make sure that you're posting them into the correct category and changing them is exactly the same as the pages. You go into, you find the one you want, you go into edit, you make sure the title's there, you make sure the URL is there, you write whatever text you need to write, um, you save your featured image, you can fill out this little part here um, and that will actually kind of pull through onto smaller posts basically. So if you do want to put a bit of um, like an overview, you can do that. Make sure it's in the right category and then you can preview and save exactly the same. So I hope that has helped you to understand how WordPress works. Um, if you do have any questions or if you need anything that is a little bit more in depth, always get in touch with us. We'll be able to do the development side of it and then hand it back over to you. So if you have any questions, you can get in touch with me on sonia at wearelovemondays.co.uk.